Hello everyone, this is Husker Eurocat welcoming you to the preseason video of our fifth season as the New York Jets get underway here on Madden 20 for the PC. This is a little longer than normal and what I'm going to show you in this video are highlights of the preseason games. Not necessarily a play-by-play -play commentary as normal, so some of the plays may not follow the flow of the game. All should be in sequential order, but a lot of action is skipped trying to get you highlights and some of the bigger and difference making plays that we like to find in preseason. So let's get started with our first game here in MetLife Stadium with the Jets taking on the Tennessee Titans. And on the very first play from scrimmage, Marietta hands off to Royce Freeman and he is stopped in the backfield. The addition of Levi Wallace should be big for this team. Now the Jets have the ball. Darnold goes back and is sat. Having a little bit of difficulty with that O-line getting the first game jitters out of the way. Mariota gives off to Humphreys and he is stopped in the backfield. Williams and Williamson on the stop. The fake and Mariota goes straight into Ja'Kai Polite on the play action pass and that is a big loss. Mariota back to pass, throws long, and it is complete. Perry Nickerson was defending on that play, and he is really not of the caliber to start, but uh, he's working on it. There again, Levi Wallace on the stop. Donald now back after a holding penalty, and that one's complete out to Antonio Callaway. A big find here in the offseason for the Jets, and that is going to make, hopefully, a really big difference in the wide receiver core. His addition to John Ross at the wide receiver spot should make any defensive backs a little bit leery. And there is a fumble. Le'Veon Bell coughed the ball up. And that's not something that you want to do, but it is a preseason game, so we need to get that out of the way. Freeman on, he's also a fumble. And it hit really hard by Jamal Adams. And that is one of his strong points, that he is a really hard hitter. Matter of fact, him along with Harrison Smith are really two heavy hitters in the NFL. That one complete out to Callaway again. Darnold back to pass. Completes this one to Arsenault, Carl Arsenault, and he is trying to make the team here in preseason. Mullins now in at quarterback, gives off to Justin Jackson. He has himself a first down. First and goal, McFarland gets the ball and he takes it into the end zone untouched. After a three and out, Mullins is sacked. Puna Ford got in there in a hurry. And that shows that this backup offensive line is questionable. But of course, in those situations, it's going to happen even to the best of offensive lines. And that one complete to Antonio Callaway again. Jackson with a big run. A Spin at the end, trying to get loose, and he is down inside the red zone. Mullins back to pass, throws into the end zone. Carl Arsenault, touchdown Jets. Carl Arsenault has been one of those receivers that just a, a really, really good backup. And I think that he just needs a little nudge in order to be a lot better than what he is right now. 
So definitely needs some focus on his training to get him to the next level. Second and two after a really good run by Cousins. And that is Oliver Cousins. <laughs> Don't confuse him with Kirk. He's not on that team. And the pass is complete down to Fuller. Melifanu on the coverage. He is really a good backup. There is might take just a little bit of a nudge and he could be a starter if it weren't for the fact that Jamal Adams is in front of him. They're showing off some talent, stopping Jaquez Fuller from getting in the end zone. And back to pass and throwing it out of the back of the end zone. That was a fourth down play and no points for the Titans. Pass complete out to Siante Slate. He's another one that is trying to make the team, but he has to be a little careful because he's not eligible for the practice squad this year. And Jackson gets out in the open, and he's gone. Touchdown, Jets. Oliver in there again, and it this one is complete out to Graves. Covered by Blesson Austin. And he's another one that is really trying hard to make this team because he's also another one uh, that is not eligible for the practice squad this year. So it'll be interesting to see if he can make the grade or not. And Mullins connects with Henderson for a first down. And not able to do anything. There is Austin, and he has an interception going the distance. Pick six for the Jets. Cousins back to pass and throws this one long, complete. Zachary Garrett makes the grab, working against Stoutmeyer and Westry. And Westry, he is battling for a spot because he's now in his fourth season and obviously not eligible for the practice squad. Stoutmeyer is possible. He could make the practice squad. But as for being on the regular squad, he is just, I don't know, not, not quite good enough. But uh, plays like that just don't make a good impression on the coaches. And that one is intercepted. Siante Slate just couldn't get to the ball fast enough. And Ross Younger has himself an interception inside the one yard line. Ross Moreland tries to get him a little bit of space, but he's stopped by Richmond, another one that's trying to make the Jet squad. And there a tackle by Cashman. On a third down play, denying the first down. Now on third and four. The run goes to McFarland and he has the first down. I haven't seen just a lot out of, out of him, but he is coming along fairly nice. So uh, we'll have to see how he can do here in the preseason. Mullins with lots of time finds his receiver Henderson and that brings us to the end of this game. The Jets win very easily 49-13 and show off some pretty good skill uh, in the process of this one. Next we have a, another home game and that's against uh, the Green Bay Packers. Now the Packers still have Rodgers as their quarterback. And they have Aaron Jones in the backfield, his sixth season in the league. That is a trick play, a reverse, and it's sniffed out by the Jets. I have a feeling that if they can stay healthy, the Jets will have a very good rush uh, defense like they did last season. The Passing defense, that's going to be a little bit suspect. 
they, especially with the loss of C.J. Mosley in the middle of the field. A spin move by Bell, and he has the first down. Shows off his talent as to why he's the starting running back. Jackson with tries to make a, a spin move right there at the end, but is stopped just shy of the end zone. And there, a touchdown to Antonio Callaway on the slant pattern. Quite easily done. Rodgers finds Travis Rudolph now in his sixth season for the first down. But that's as far as they go. And Darnold goes down in the backfield. Kingsley Kiki getting to him. That uh, was defended by Joey Sander. Kiki got a step on him, and he just couldn't catch up to him before he got to Darnold. Now second and 19, Darnold backpedaling, throws across the middle. John Ross complete out past midfield, and that is why the Jets are going to be a formidable opponent is going to be their wide receiving crew is much better this season, I think, anyway. Time will really prove that to be true, but who knows? This is the NFL, and anything can happen. Jackson, after a nice screen pass, connection gets down to the 17, and Ross makes the first down, and it is first and goal from the seven. Bell carries it left side and into the end zone for the touchdown. This first string is really good. And as soon as I say that, there is an interception by J.R. Alexander. And he just had the right position on John Ross. And that's what makes him so good. And here is our first look at Kimoko Ture. And he is definitely going to add some speed at that end position. And only being a backup, but still, he is fast. Going to be a, definitely a rush end. John Ross with a big reception down the left side. Ball is handed off to Bell, breaking a couple of tackles and a big gain inside the 30-yard line. And Jackson. The Jets seem to be a, doing a really good job of rotating those two out. And Jackson is now turning out to be a really good complement. To Bell and there's a touchdown to John Ross 20 to nothing already for the Jets in this game oh my goodness did you see those two cuts by Jones faking out the defense is first Wallace and then uh, Nickerson and Brian Poole makes a really really good play and that's why he's a first string as well. Second and one, Rodgers throws complete. That one, Perry Nick Nickerson again makes a mistake and allows that big completion. When you talk about things that you don't want to do in preseason, that happened to be one of them. Now into the third quarter, Mullins connects with Henderson out at the 39-yard line. A nice pickup. And Henderson is proving to be a very, very good backup wide receiver, but even more so uh, in the return game. He's showing that he has a little bit of speed in Arsenal. Oh boy, that is a drop that the coaches will remember, <laughs> unfortunately. Stoutmeyer makes a good stop, but not before the pass is completed to Jalen Smith. Now on third and 10, the pass is 
complete again to Smith. And that is showing just a little bit of weakness in that passing defense. And wow, a shoestring tackle by Westry stops rookie Vincent Wright from making it all the way into the end zone. And that is a big time hit and unfortunately an injury to Dexter Williams. And Vincent Wright powers his way into the end zone. The throw by Mullins and it is a drop by McFarlane. That was a gimme pass right there. Something that will make a bad impression with the coaches. But a good impression is Quadri Anderson making a grab, showing off a little bit of speed in the process. Carlson from long range puts it through and the Jets lead 23 to 14. Out of the I formation, a play action pass complete. Austin was defending on that one and he just couldn't make the play. Stoutmeyer shows. Oh my goodness, did he ever get faked out on that play? I don't know what he was doing, trying to go for the ball maybe. And this one is intercepted. Adrian Amos making a really outstanding play on that one to get to the ball. And wow, getting loose and with a big run is backup quarterback Samuel Connell. And touchdown Packers as it's a perfect pass in there to Smith. Mullins screen pass to McFarlane and he has the first down. The Packers have taken the lead in this football game, which is kind of amazing because it was 20 to nothing before the Packers even started scoring. Connell throws complete. Zachary Jamison making the catch, getting away from Austin. But more importantly is the speed, he, the the recovery and speed of Robert Ramirez, the Jets' third round pick, and that was quite amazing, that speed that he had to catch up. Now that brings us to the end of that game and the Packers with the win. Now on to Dallas and facing the Cowboys will be our third preseason game. Dak Prescott is still the leader of this offense and he starts out at the 25 yard line. Elliott, the number one rushing back in the league last season. And we'll see how he fares this season, but he doesn't seem to be in through the first couple of games. He didn't seem like he was letting up any. That a flag, <laughs> that doesn't do anybody any good. Melifanu with the infraction. Second and six, pass complete inside the 10. The third year wide receiver Tristan Griffin. Elliott absolutely loses that battle. And Dak Prescott <laughs> pays the price in the backfield. The back of the end zone, touchdown, Ethan Williams. These, they're the Cowboys' second round draft pick, and he is proving to be quite valuable in that position for the Cowboys. Darnold throws out to Herndon for the first down, out to the 47. Again, back to pass, and this one is complete to Antonio Callaway on the slant pattern. Pass complete again to Callaway, and out of bounds here on second and two. 
And Darnold goes down, just took a little bit too much time. And Lawrence gets to him in the backfield. Carlson on for the field goal. And he drills it down the middle. Seven to three. Cowboys in charge in this one at the moment. Levi Wallace allowing that completion, but defending the sticks really well. And that's fourth and one. The Cowboys punt it away, and that ball is dead inside the 10 at the eight yard line. And stuff like that doesn't help any. The Cowboys had him. The Jets backed up inside the 10 and interference ruins it all. Rougier Hill just handed the Jets a first down. Now Darnold gets sacked once again. Lawrence is proving to be a handful from that left end position and Thomas can't handle him as he makes the stop. Now, that could be a reason why Thomas is still a backup and not performing at a level where he could be the starting tight end. Darnold back to pass. He decides to run it and he fumbles the football. It looks like he Dove tried to dive for the first down and he lost the ball. Prescott connects again with Williams over the middle and he gets the first down. Now at the 30, oh! And Marcus May drops that interception. Had he held on to that ball, it would have been a pick six, no trouble at all. Now Prescott from the one, Throws it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tyler Higby. Now 14 to three, and that is a long connection to Marquez Valdez Gantling. Uh, pick up there in the off season for the Jets. And he is going to add some speed. Will hopefully He'll be able to hold on to the ball. I don't know exactly how good he is because that is one of the things that he needs to work on when it comes to his attributes. Another run by Bell. Oh, a nice juke, and he gets out for a first down. Out to the 35. Donald. Ready to pass and lets it go. John Ross makes the connection he down to the nine yard line. First and goal and down goes Darnold yet again. The Cowboys send an extra man and Tristan Hill gets the sack. That one complete to John Ross and ooh. He's injured and limping into is that, you know, he's limping, get going to the sideline. I don't know if that's going to keep him out of the rest of the game or not, but we'll find out. Antonio Callaway catches the, the uh, pass for the touchdown and Valdez Scantling makes good for the two pointer. Elliott, oh, a cut and he is gone. Adams trying to catch up with him, but just can't make the stop. It is 22-11. Now, Dallas out front. Bell with a good pickup off the screen pass and gets the first down. Pass over the middle, complete into the end zone for the touchdown. And the Jets get even closer, a two-point difference. And the sack by Jamal Adams. Brings up a third and 13. And Amari Cooper shows why he is so valuable to this Cowboys offense. And 
Prescott takes another sack. Blake Cashman getting to him. And there again, Ture is blindingly fast. And he gets off block and on the line. He is in there in absolutely no time. Third and nine. Mullins lets it go, and it's complete out to Jakeem Grant. And unfortunately for him, with the addition of Antonio Callaway to the receiving core, he has dropped in the depth chart. But there he is catching the touchdown pass from Mullins. And the Jets go on top. Back to the Jakeem Grant conundrum. Uh, the Jets have found that possibly he can make a really, really good return specialist. Uh, being on the second string uh, receiver crew, he has aged, but he still seems to have what it takes. They're catching another touchdown pass. Stoutmeyer has the interception and is back for a pick six. A 33-yard return. And that about does it now, 39 to 20. The pass is intercepted by Westry. And that one should do it. Coach Garrett not very happy with what he's seen here in the second half from the rookies. 42 to 20, the Jets win against the Dallas Cowboys. At this point, I need to apologize because I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> Not only once, but I clicked the warning as well and simmed past the week four game and the preseason cuts. So the CPU did some funky things with not only my practice squad, but some of my backups that I would have normally kept. So I manually readjusted some of the players on my team and we now have the roster that will be taking us into the 2022 regular season. From what we saw in the preseason, the roster doesn't have many surprises to it just some new faces that will be with the team for its 2022 campaign and a bid for a second Super Bowl ring for this series. Quarterback is unchanged from a season ago, just more, eh, well, uh, seasoned. <laughs> with the addition of Justin Jackson to the running game, we'll see if the duo of he and Le'Veon Bell can make a good impact. They've done well through the preseason, uh, but uh, time will tell. Now, something that's not really surprising but intriguing is the addition of both Antonio Callaway and Marquez Valdez Scantling to the wide receiver crew. This makes definitely the fastest receiving contingent that this team has ever seen. So I think it'll be really interesting see, to see if um, Darnold can be effective at getting the ball down the field a little more than he has in the past. On the defensive side of the ball, the addition of yet another speed rushing in to the mix in Kimoko Ture, I think he'll complement Kendrickson and Williams pretty well. That makes for a really solid line, and with the addition of Levi Wallace to the corners, Obi Melifonwu's move from backup strong safety to free safety, Jermaine Johnson's regression this season, and the departure of C.J. Mosley, it could prove very fascinating what the condition of the passing defense will be this season. They haven't shown really outstanding stuff here in preseason, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. That roster will take them into a regular season that will be highlighted by taking on the NFC North, the AFC North, 
as well as a rematch with their playoff game with the Colts, and finally a rematch of the preseason game that we didn't get to see uh, against the Kansas City Chiefs. First up, we'll be traveling to Minneapolis and U.S. Bank Stadium for a meeting with the Vikings. Now, the Vikes have a new quarterback named Tony Adcock out of the U. As well, the Jets' former wideout leader, Jamison Crowder, that has now been delegated to the slot wideout position. Rather strange, I think, that a wide receiver gets to be a star with the Jets and goes elsewhere to be the third man out in both Anderson and Crowder's scenario. On the defense, they added both Randy Gregory and Leighton Vanderish in the offseason, so we'll have to see if that made them better or worse. <laughs> I don't know. They could stop up the run. That uh, That is a big improvement to the front seven anyway. Well, that does it for the 2022 preseason, everyone. Have the Jets put together a team that can lead them to another Super Bowl trophy and the second ring in three years. Only time will tell. I would say that New York, although it was a rough offseason with the battle to overcome not having any cap space to work with, well, that came out pretty well. Thank you very much. How will that play out as the season unfolds, though? Be with me here starting next week for the start of a brand new season, the fifth in this series. The goal is the Super Bowl in Los Angeles for another shot at the Lombardi Trophy. Until I see you for the start of the 2022 regular season against the Minnesota Vikings, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everybody.